from imitating Fortnite dancers to creating Halo teen song covers, gaming has made its mark on pop culture. Video games have been around for decades and span over a range of platforms. From arcade systems, to home consoles, to handheld consoles, to computer screens, and now even on our mobile phones, which are typically accessible to most 24-7. Evidently, video games have made an immeasurable impact on society today, such that it has even created a monetizing economic unit of its own. Today, the video game industry is bigger than the TV and film industry. With an estimated industry worth of $180.1 by 2021, the video games industry is a compelling venture. However, with billions of video game players across the world, the video games industry is in a state of data frenzy. Thankfully, the advances in technology has brought the video games industry a cure, big data analytics. What's happened is, from a moment when companies would ship packaged product goods and not have a relationship with their consumers, now gaming is being consumed in always on, always connected, multi-device, social manner. So that changes everything. We are now being able to collect so much of insight on the game itself, the gameplay, and the gamer that we have to rethink all our fundamental assumptions of the past. Observing data is useful in summarizing and uncovering meaningful insights. In the video game industry, this is important to enhance gameplay experience. Data such as player-based demographics and average player time can all be analyzed using big data. An example of how descriptive analytics was used in the video game industry is EverQuest 2. EverQuest 2 is a popular online fantasy video game where players team up and raid dungeons and collect loot. Nora, the virtual country featured in EverQuest setting, was even ranked as the world's 77 richest country in 2002. Being such a popular game, there were bound to be players who tried to take the easy way out. One such example is gold farming. Gold farming refers to using illegal bots and scripts to perform repetitive tasks. This is done to obtain and sell virtual items in video games for real money. Gold farmers ruin the gaming experience for other players by disrupting the balance of the game economy, restricting the playing field and encouraging account theft. This left players upset as they were unable to progress in-game. As such, the EverQuest 2 team needed to deal with this problem as soon as possible. They decided to apply descriptive analytics to tackle this issue. The biggest obstacle they faced was to identify gold farming bot and script accounts from actual legitimate player accounts. EverQuest 2 developers decided that the best way to do so would be to analyze player behavioral patterns using descriptive analytics. They extracted five types of data for analysis. Experience logs, transaction logs, character attributes, demographic attributes, and cancel accounts. Using descriptive analytics, game developers utilize their behavioral observation of player characters to identify goal farmers. Through matching the descriptions of these five characteristics to their records of player action, EverQuest 2 developers attempted to identify goal farmers from a sample of their player base. The results were mostly positive, with them being able to correctly identify gold farmers with high accuracy. This shows that using descriptive big data analytics was a viable method in weeding out gold farmers. The EverQuest 2 team also found several valuable insights. The results suggested that it was more accurate to identify gold farmers based on their in-game behaviours from transaction logs as compared to other characteristics such as account demographic attributes. Overall, this allowed for the reduction of gold farmers, creating a more pleasant gaming experience. Past data can also be used to predict the future, like predicting the purchases players are more likely to make. In the video game industry, this is important to drive more sales. League of Legends is a multiplayer online battle arena game where players can pick from a roster of 145 champions and fight it out against another team. As of September 2019, the game has officially 33 million monthly players. 
Within the game, skins are a popular way for players to customize their champion for a more personalized gaming experience, and are purely cosmetic. Your Shop is a feature within League of Legends that offers skins on discounts that are personalized for every individual player. It uses predictive analytics to recommend what is most likely to be a relevant skin to a player to get him to spend some cash. One such way of accumulating and analyzing data is through content-based systems. Skins are tagged with metadata. For example, a skin like this would have the tags furry or cute. As players get more skins, the player's profile will also be more unique and the preference of skins will be defined. And so, your shop would never offer something scary like Royal Shackle to a player like this. Another way of how League of Legends predicts the most suitable skin is through collaborative filtering. League of Legends first collects data on the champions you most play and the skins you mostly use. League of Legends uses this data to compare between players. It is based on the idea that players will have common likes and dislikes. Association Rule Mining or ARM is used here, with the collection of player data to determine how players who choose certain characters are more likely to play certain other characters as well. So, the algorithm predicts that if player A likes Lux, Janna, and Sauna, then player B, who likes Lux and Janna, is highly likely to want to play Sauna, and a Sauna skin would then appear in player B's shop. Looks like it's time to spend some money! Moving on, prescriptive analytics can be used to formulate the best solutions. In the video game context, it can be used to fix problems in gameplay and game design. Halo is a series of first-person shooter games that have sold over 65 million copies worldwide and have captured the world by storm. Before the much-anticipated release of Halo 3, prescriptive analytics was used to work out issues to ensure that the mistakes of Halo 2 were not made. How was this done? Developers came up with new weapons levels and situations and analyze the data of hundreds of playtesters and thousands of hours of gameplay footage. Especially in the competitive gaming scene, game balance is essential to ensure fairness. A tiny flaw, such as an asymmetrical map, could give a certain group of players an unfair advantage. Halo developers collected data about player deaths in a particular multiplayer level and analyzed the heat map of such data. Player deaths were skewing towards the bottom left, indicating that teams invading from the right had an advantage, which could result in unfair gameplay. To combat this, the developers decided to tweak the terrain in various ways. This was then tested by sample players in order to form predictive heat maps of how player deaths will look like with increased players. This was then used to find the best terrain for a more even level for both teams. In another example, Big Data was analysed to find that the design of a certain level, Welcome to the Jungle, was causing players to be lost. A player map was created to see how players were moving across the map. Each colour represented a new timestamp, with each dot showing player location at 5 second intervals. Initially, these dots were spread out across the map, indicating that players were wandering lost, and it was predicted that this would continue happening. The developers came up with a few solutions, such as use of subtle terrain clues, like a ledge that prevented players from going backwards. These various solutions were tested to predict player movement within the map. Qualitative data of playtesters Reviews of the variation of the map were also considered. This data was then analyzed to determine the most optimal layout for a fun and balanced map, creating a more linear path. After the implementation, the player time dots were concentrated where they were meant to be, indicating a good playable map. In this case, the use of prescriptive analytics is effective in helping game developers make optimal decisions suited to the consumer preference. Let's recap. The application of the three main types of data analytics we discussed in the previous examples were Firstly, descriptive analytics. In the case study of EverQuest, descriptive analytics was used to observe game characters' behavior, 
so as to detect misconduct and identify gold farmers. In doing so, it helps developers to promote fairer gameplay and create a healthier game economy. Secondly, in the case study of League of Legends, predictive analytics was used to determine the preferences of consumers, such as providing game characters with their preferred style of clothes. In doing so, it helps game developers provide personalized targeted marketing. Thirdly, prescriptive analytics. In the case study of Halo 3, prescriptive analytics was used to guide game developers in taking the most suitable course of action, such as deciding which were the best terrains for good maps in the game. In doing so, it helps game developers improve the overall consumer gaming experience. In conclusion, Big Data Analytics helps the video games industry to uncover patterns and connections that provide valuable insights, and these insights allow the video games industry to make superior decisions and implement effective changes so as to remain relevant, stay ahead of the competition, and further monetize the video games industry. Game on!